Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Punk Field here, and today I'm here with Yuan from Amon Amarth, and we're on the tour bus, and um, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. I love your video, Raise Your Horns. How would you describe your fans in three w words or less? Uh, <laughs> describe our fans in three words or less. Crazy, dedicated, and fun. You know, they're awesome. Those are, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have a beer with any one of the gods, who would you pick? Ooh, now that's a tricky one. Because, I mean, Odin obviously is the all-father. He's the wisest, so you could ask him anything. But then again, when you drink a beer, you kind of want to party, right? Not talk about educational stuff. So, um, I would probably choose Thor if it's more like a, you know, hanging out with your brother kind of thing. Because he seems to be a lot of fun. Or Freya if you want to have a, a comp be accompanied by a nice lady, maybe. If your Viking ship could fly, where would the first place you'd fly to? Right now, back home. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been uh, you know being on the road a lot. You kind of you kind of miss your home a lot. So when when the end of tour is coming up, you kind of want to go home, but then you can want to go back on the road again. So it's always nice to be home. Yeah. I read that you're afraid of heights. Have you ever? Had a dream about falling? Oh yeah, that that's happened. But it's it's weird about the the f scare being scared of heights. It's something that I kind of come to terms with lately. I'm I'm not as troubled by it as I used to be. But um, for a while there, it was, you know, I did not like going up like high heights, like with you know, where you're standing close to the railings and looking down and stuff like that. Not my thing. Not my thing either. No. <laughs> I also hate it, like, when you're sleeping and then, like, let's say you trip and fall, Yeah. right? It actually feels like it's real. Yes. Like, it's actually happening. It, it does, doesn't it? And, and I mean, uh, I've had some really weird stuff where I felt like I was falling from buildings and stuff like that as well. So, that's not so nice. <laughs> What's your favorite song to play live off of, off of Yom's Viking? Ooh, I think... Oh, that's that's a really, right now actually it's uh, on a sea of blood because uh, it's one of the song that we added recently to the playlist. We're gonna play it tonight, and it's a lot of fun. It's it's uh, kind of challenging, but it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty fun. Otherwise, I also like um, Raise Your Horns because people really seem to like that song. So <laughs> I love that song. All right, cool. What's the first Mel record that you've ever bought? That's a difficult question because I don't really remember, but uh, because I taped a lot of uh, records when I was a kid from friends and stuff. But I think that the very first album that I bought was either Peace of Mind by Iron Maiden or um, Welcome to Hell by Venom. But I'm not sure. W w one, one of those, for sure, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> What's your most proud moment from being in a successful metal band? I mean, honestly, as corny as it sounds, my, 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 my most proud moment was when my, my parents came to a show in Stockholm a couple of years ago because they've never been to any shows. Uh, at the time, I don't think they really understood what the, what the hell I was doing. Uh, uh, but they came to the show, uh, sold out show in Stockholm, 1,500 people in the crowd, everybody going nuts. It was brilliant. And uh, they were, you could tell from the facial expression, expression that they were impressed. So that, that felt pretty good. Awesome. What is your favorite kind of beer? Favorite kind of beer? Ooh. It's almost easier to say which one is not. <laughs> but uh, I like India Pale Ales, IPAs, always, always, uh, but I also like stouts and porters, darker stuff. So. What would you do if you woke up as a Viking in the middle of, of a battle? 
I would try to fight as hard as I can, hope to be victorious, but uh, if I wasn't, wasn't, I would hope to die with the sword in my hand so I could go to Valhalla. Awesome. I would be just like swinging crazy axes at people. Pretty much, know. yeah, yeah. That's that's what I would do too. But I mean, any any first any first thing about fighting, you know, don't don't go in too hard because when you overextend, you're you're vulnerable. So be be, be smart. Yes. Would you like? What do you like to do on your free time at home and while on tour? Uh, on tour. I mean, we can, you know, there's not a lot of free time. So basically, what you try to do is, you know, maybe watch a movie or something. But when you do have a day off where you can go somewhere, you know, it's always nice to have a good meal, maybe go to a bar, have a couple of beers, and just hang out and relax a little bit. Um, at home, it, it can be anything, you know, just hang out with friends or, you know, go to one, watch a hockey game or a football game, soccer game I guess but uh, um, or even just work on my house it's it's actually kind of nice to to do some some other things than music what are your favorite bands that aren't metal favorite bands that aren't metal do I have any <laughs> <laughs> well it depends what you say I mean I guess CC Top would be one of them I guess uh, always, uh, yeah, yeah. So th that's one of them, definitely. Um, Rolling Stones has always been like a, a favorite band of mine since I was very a, a kid, and you know. Uh, but it's mainly rock. I mean, Bruce Springsteen. I love Bruce Springsteen as well. So, so, but there's there's a ton of really good bands out there. They're not metal, but can't think of them right now. I really like Radiohead and yeah, Radiohead. Queen. Yeah, Radiohead are awesome. Queen as well. Good choices. It's been pretty crazy here in America. Can I come live at your home in Sweden for a while? <laughs> sure thing. It's not much better there, but you know. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's it's crazy times everywhere, I think. Not just here in America. It's uh it's a, a strange situation in in the world right now and I can just hope that it will get better soon. So. If you could pick four heavy metal singers to become gods, who would you pick? They could be dead or alive. Four heavy metal singers that could become gods. Well, the first choice is easy. It's Lemmy, Killmeister. He probably already is one. Um, uh, damn it. I had, I had a good one for the other one as well. Uh, well, I mean, James Hetfield was always like my favorite when I grew up, James Hetfield was my big, big inspiration. So I'll, I'll choose him. Uh, I, I met him once. He's a super nice guy as well. So I guess he kind of, kind of deserves that. Um, Tom Araya, also another, another favorite singer of mine. Um, but the fourth one, like that, really has that thing. And that's that's tough, man. There's, there's a lot of good singers out there. But I know, I know, Ronnie James Dio, without a question. What do you think happens after you die? Honestly, actually, I think nothing happens. It, it may seem um, grim, may, may seem a little bit boring, but I actually think that this is the life we have, so we best make the most out of it. Okay, so here's the comparison questions. Mm -hmm. Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Uh, I guess Loch Ness Monster. Vikings or superheroes? Vikings. <laughs> Beer or wine? Beer. <laughs> you have anything to add? Uh, no, I'm good, man. I, I, thank you for doing this interview. It was awesome talking to you. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to raising my horns at the show. So am I. Don't you sit down. Or I'll be flesh of thousands dead. Dwell 